Hey guys, what is up? Reverick here, and today um, I wanted to uh, do something for you guys. Uh, there's a comment that was suggested on one of my latest videos. Uh, it'll be up on screen right now. So, with you being able to see that, um, I'm going to show you guys how to get better at CSGO. Now, keep in mind, I am only uh, GN2, goal number 2. But even with that being said, all the points I'm going to make are still going to be valid. You could talk to a pro and every point I'm going to say is still going to be valid, I promise you, okay? I'm not just saying that because I'm inexperienced and I want to blow smoke up your ass. Like I'm being legitimately serious. Like I'm going to show you guys how to get better at CSGO or some ways to lead you to getting better at CSGO. So with that being said, we're going to talk about two topics today, and that's going to be resolution and your crosshair. Now the reason I'm putting these two get together is because one is affected by the other. Now, with that being said, I'm going to talk to you guys what I'm or I'm going to show you guys what I'm talking about. Now, as you can see, when I go into my video settings, I play in 4x3, 1024 x 768. Okay. Now I want you to pay attention to this crosshair, the crosshair right here. I'll make it uh, completely obvious there. It's white. Okay. You can see it. Uh, actually here. I mean, do light blue, and I'll even put an outline on it for right now. Okay, there. Very obvious. Okay, very, very obvious. I'll even put white on it just to make it more obvious. Okay, and then let's increase the gap to where it's an obvious gap. Okay, so you see the gap, right? You see how small the gap is on this sign. Okay, so when I'm going to change my resolution. From 1024 by 768, I'm going to go into 16 by 9. I'm going to make it 1920 by 1080. Okay. Now I'm going to be right back, and I'm going to show you what this affects. All right, we're back, and as you can see, the crosshair looks smaller, and the gap is a lot smaller as well. All right. So as like I said, as you can see, crosshair itself is a lot more smaller and the gap is a lot more smaller. Now I'm going to go back into 10, uh, 4x3. Again, pay attention to the crosshair. Pay attention to it right there. You can see it right there. Pay attention to the gap. Okay, I'm going to go from 1920 by 1080 to 4x3, 1024 by 768. All right, we're back. And as you can tell, the gap and the crosshair is a lot more bigger. Now, because that is because of the, uh, as you change, hold on real quick, as you change the crosshair, or as you change the resolution, the pixels get stretched either horizontally or vertically or both. With 1024, I get it stretched mainly horizontal, like just basically only horizontal. But because of that, I have my crosshair, the gap itself will be a lot more smaller and the crosshair itself will be a lot more smaller if it was 1920 by 1080. Now that I've said all these statistics about the resolution change and how it affects your crosshair, I'm going to continue to say with what the difference between resolutions do. Okay, so now if we step out here uh, and you see these guys. So here, let me find a still opponent. Okay, you're not very still. Um, fuck it, we'll just do one of these guys. All right, so if you look at them, if you look at him right now, let's draw a box around him, okay? We're gonna do a blue box around this guy, all right? And I'm going to go into, uh, I'm going to go into, oh crap, video. I'm gonna go back into, 1920 by 1080 okay so as you can see the box is still there and now I'm gonna change and I'll be right back all right we're back and as you can see the blue box is still there it has not moved it has not changed and the guy is smaller now I'm gonna make a box of red 
around this guy that has changed, okay? Now, as you can see, the 4x3 guys are a lot wider, which means it's a lot easier to hit on your screen. That's why I play 1024 by 768 because it gives me an easier job to kill someone than it would in 1920 by 1080. Now, I'm going to go back to 1024 by 768. So we'll be right back. Alright, I am back. And now, as you can see, the guy is wider and fits in the box now. So as you can see, it makes opponents wider, which makes them easier to hit on your screen. Alright, I'm back. And now, onto my second point, is that when you go into, uh, when, when you look for a different resolution, play with what you feel is natural, okay? Play with what you're comfortable with. Me, I'm comfortable with 1024 by 768 and stretched. Someone like, uh, here, Kenny, let's take Kenny S for example. I have his crosshair, he plays in 1024 by 768 as well. But the difference between him and I are is that I play stretched and he plays black bars. Now, the difference that makes with that is honestly not a whole lot. It just adds black bars to your screen and it makes the crosshair even on all sides. So, how as you can see, the sides are longer than the uh, top and bottom parts but if you were to go to my crosshair which is without this outline and uh, gap is a lot oh crap, smaller and so is the size this is what I'm comfortable with and the reason that I'm comfortable with this is because one it makes it easier to see things, okay? And now that I have resolution stated and everything, what the difference is, I'm going to go into the crosshair aspect. Now, the crosshair aspect depends on multiple variables, okay? Um, as you can see, we'll go, we'll, let's go over here, okay? I'm going to say, I'm going to put a link to this map in the description below, so go ahead and uh, click on it. All you gotta do is after you click the link, you have to click subscribe and then go into CSGO, go into offline with bots, uh, and then go to workshop. And I'll show you how to do that in a minute after I get done explaining this. So, as you can see, there are numerous, 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 numerous crosshairs from all the pro, pro players. Um, as you can see, we have Team Liquid, FaZe, Dignitas, Hellraisers, uh, Flipside Tactics, G2. Uh, Kennel Electric Gaming, Cloud, Navi, Astralis, uh, Envious, uh, NIP, Fnatic, Virtus Pro, Energy, SK, Gambit, and these are all the, uh, these are all the EU teams, and these are all the, uh, NA and E, uh, Brazilian teams, uh, Renegades, Mouse Sports, Luminosity, uh, Godsent, Gambit, SK, Energy. Um, so, uh, I'll get to that room here in a minute. So, all as you can see, all these different kinds of crosshairs um, that you can try like screams say, say I want to try it screams boom there we go I have screams crosshair I can try it and now as you can see I'm going to buy an AK as you can see the gap got a lot smaller than what it was when I had my pistol only that's because excuse me that is because when scream plays he actually plays with this nowadays and it doesn't change but when he originally played with this, this lets you know when to spray and when not to spray. And what I mean by that is that this is dynamic gap on and off, okay? Dynamic gap shows that, okay, get, get over, okay. So let's look at here, for example, okay? So let's say that I'm this far away. I know that I can probably spray a person down and still get an accurate kill but when I have the Glock out I know not to spray because of how wide the gap is like look if I go over my head over his head if I spam I, I killed him but that's not always gonna be that lucky like say I'm over here 
you see what happens when I sprayed? I missed a bunch of shots. But if I just tap fire, I killed him a lot easier. Same with the AK. If I spray, I know that I'm probably going to get the headshot, but don't spray from very far angles and instead tap fire. That's the beauty of this uh, like dynamic gap. And now you're probably thinking, well, Redfrick, if it's very helpful, then why don't you do it yourself? And the reason I don't do that myself is because I already know after playing this game for so long, I already know in my mind, my mind is stored in its memory cache, that I know what areas to spray and what areas not to spray. So if we go back to my crosshair, where, how it was, okay, there, and then, and turn that off, wait, no, it needs to be off, there, and now if we turn it off, it's not going to move when I move or change guns, as you can see. Now, say right here, I know that I can just tap fire and hit the head, okay? Just tap fire and it'll hit the head. I also know that I can also spray at this angle and still get a kill. Watch, this guy right here, spray, get kill, spray, get kill, spray, get kill, spray, get a kill. That's the beauty of playing this game for a long time. Now, if you're just beginning and you're watching this video to kind of help you know what to do and what not to do, I suggest putting this on, okay? I suggest doing this right here so that way you know when and when not to, like, just blindly shoot. It is very, very, very helpful. I cannot stress it enough. It is very helpful, okay? And now there are other crosshairs like this. I also suggest doing this kind of crosshair. And the reason that this crosshair is, or, yeah, like, the reason that this crosshair is so good for new players is because it shows you when you're moving and it shows you how accurate you're going to be. It's basically like the dynamic, only it shows you when you move all throughout the game and also when you shoot, as you can see. That is very helpful for newcomers because it knows, A, okay, if I'm moving, it, I'm not going to be very accurate. But if I stop moving, it gets smaller, which means that you're going to be more accurate. So say I hold out my AK. As you can see, I'm not going to be accurate at all when I'm running because of how big the gap is. Meaning that the gap or the bullets can go anywhere within the gap of this. Now, as you can see, when I stop for a split second, it goes in into its like closed state. And the reason because of that is because there's this thing called strafe shooting that I'll get into in another video on parts of the series. And I'll explain that into more, but it stops for a second, which makes you barely accurate to hit him. But as you can see, I'm not most likely not going to hit the head if I just, okay, that was luck. Okay, that was luck. But I'm obviously not going to hit the head most of the time if I just spray while moving and you can tell that by how this looks. And again, you're probably thinking, well, Redrick, why aren't you doing that yourself? And the reason to that is because, again, memory stored in my mind that I know already how to shoot, when not to shoot, and everything. And then after you've gotten better using this crosshair, I don't suggest going to the full static that I use. No, I suggest going to this one that doesn't move when you move but it moves when you shoot. So that way, if you're still having troubles with spray patterns, you can still understand. So watch, I'm gonna make this a very obvious color against this right here. So as you see, it moves when I shoot. Okay, I gotta do it again. It moves when I shoot. And the reason for that is because you know, watch. See, as the thing, as the crosshair moved and got bigger through time, it, you saw that every bullet was within the crosshair. That's why I suggest this, even, okay, wait, is that going on? Yeah, that makes on, okay. There. Oh, still on. Oh, okay, this is automatically classic crosshair. Hold on. Okay, there we go. It's off. Anyways, so um, because this shows you when you shoot, it's very helpful 
because it knows uh, that way you know and can learn the spray pattern of said weapon of whatever you choose all right and then after you mastered that then you can go to the completely static crosshair that doesn't move when you shoot it doesn't move when you move it can stays completely still okay and now that I have the physics of crosshairs and everything explained to you guys I'm going to explain to you the glory of crosshair color so there are three main cones in your eyes and those cones are uh, okay that was very bad we're into dark those, those three cones are red green and blue now you're probably wondering what those are the three cones and why do you have this pinkish purple color the reason to that is because if you have only one cone recepting at uh, like, at, like I play CSGO for a long time okay I play it a lot during the day I play at least three games at least three games a day of CSGO that's just so I don't get bad at the game and I can still like you know get on next day and not com get completely demolished by other people that are my rank anyways with that said um if you fire off one of those cones for so long your eyes are going to get irritated and you're not going to be able to focus on your crosshair for so long after a certain amount of time so if you do red your eyes are going to get your the, the red cone is going to get irritated and you're not going to be able to focus on your crosshair your accuracy is going to get bad you're going to get frustrated tilted and you're not, your accuracy is going to get even worse then and green same deal and blue same deal so you're saying well why don't I just fire all three of them off and use white well you could do that but since it's white it blends in so perfectly to the lighter areas and makes it very hard to see so okay well then why don't I just add an outline and if you want to do that perfectly fine all the power to you you can but I would prefer to not have an outline because that's just not how I like to go and I prefer this pinkish blue color and the reason to that is because if you go over to here where it says share crosshair I'm firing off my blue and my red so that way it doesn't get irritated it just doesn't pay attention to green and now you're probably wondering well that makes no sense because if you put uh, blue and green together you you would get this color because if you put red and uh, yellow together or green and yellow to get red together you get yellow so why are you getting this color right here when you're mixing oh wait no why are you getting this color here when you're mixing blue and red when you should be getting this kind of green color and the reason for that is because since the different colors here are different in their own way the mind tricks itself and says okay well we don't understand this color so I'm gonna throw this color at it and the reason to that is because the reason I choose this is because it keeps the mind focused and it makes you calm okay this crosshair color right here now I don't suggest you copy me okay choose your own crosshair color but this crosshair color right here keeps your mind calm because it's not just firing one cone for a certain period of time that's why I can play three games a day and my eyes don't get irritated or my I don't lose uh, focus of my crosshair that's why I choose this color because it keeps me calm and even when I get tilted I can still focus on this crosshair now after all that being said let's move to picking your crosshair now there are multiple different crosshairs and as you can see there's this one by Kusa this one by Rain, Seas, Shroud, Exist, Bialy, uh, Taz, and as you see every Poe is different. Not all move when you move, and some of them move when you shoot, and some of them don't. And that's because some pros prefer different things, like as you can see Blades, there's not shoot but not when I move. Terex, he uses this crosshair 
which in my mind I've used this crosshair and there's nothing wrong with this crosshair if you find this crosshair good to while you want to play all the power to you I highly suggest using this if you're able to use this but with that being said don't force yourself to use a crosshair if you don't know if you don't feel comfortable with it so that's why I don't use any of these crosshairs mine's kind of off of crims you see how crims is his is exactly like mine only mine is half 0.5 smaller and it's pink that's the only difference from my crosshair and is and that's why I like my crosshair because it fits me now I'll change it from the time to time because I don't think it works but don't have the same mentality as I do pick a crosshair make sure it works and stick to that crosshair because if you start changing and then you go back to your old crosshair you're gonna feel completely out of the water and it's not gonna feel normal to you so that's why I say uh, you can pick like these kinds different kinds of crosshairs if you want as a kind of template if you if, if you'd say you can use these as a template of what you prefer and now not all not all pros are right about what crosshair you should use like back here let's show you some weird ones like let's say uh, like this one this is Crash's old crosshair that's his new one that this is his old one people actually use this and that's perfect like him he uses this uh, this person they use it and that's perfectly fine because that's what works for them this person he uses this honestly I don't see how you could use this but if it works for him then all the power to him some people use this some people even do dots I used to use a dot before I figured out my perfect crosshair if you want to use a dot cool use a dot use what you're comfortable with I cannot stress that enough this guy right here although this crosshair may look weird it's completely understandable I can tell you every reason as to why this could be a good crosshair for you let me go out and show you why if you put the head within this box you're going to hit a headshot just as long as it's in the center even if it's not you can still spray the body because the body is always within the sides and even if I change my resolution it's still gonna be within the sides because as I said before the crosshair morphs when you change your resolution it gets smaller or wider when you make your 4x3 or 16x9 resolution so always gonna be with even when I'm this close his body's still gonna be within this even when I'm this far away body is still within the crosshair meaning that my bullets are most likely still going to be where his body is this side it shows you where you can put like on here if you put the uh, crosshair on the shoulders you're not gonna hit the head but if you put near like mid body you're gonna hit the head see now when I say spraying his body still remained within the crosshair that's why this uh, crosshair could be good for you but this guy right here say you want to use this crosshair which is kind of like this one only this gap in the middle anyways I'm getting sidetracked where is it right here this crosshair could be good for you because it shows when you're going to be accurate and when you're not and it shows when you're shooting but the middle part of the crosshair still is there so that way you can line up your shots and the gap isn't too small that's the beauty of these types of crosshairs that's what I like about these kinds of crosshairs and even it's dynamic too so you can tell when and when not you're supposed to shoot and stuff with that being said this could be your crosshair where it's really thin me I prefer like this I can completely understand this completely 
I was screwing around with this type of crosshair earlier anyways when I was warming up because I was like you know what screw it let's just screw around anyways I'm going on a rant like I shouldn't be but I am anyways my point is to pick your crosshair and stay with it don't change don't think oh this crosshair is not right for me because so and so says I have a weird crosshair don't have that type of mentality if it works stick with it I cannot stress that enough this guy he has his whole crosshair on his screen and even though it looks weird it works for him because he can put the center of the line on the head this is basically like a targeting system for the head because it, it shows the entire point of the screen and you can line it up with the head Okay, I'm bad. Anyways, but this could also help with smokes. And now what I'm talking about that is that say I want to smoke off that area right there. And there's a special smoke I've bounced off right there. What I could do is, okay, say I have to take, what? Look at this right here. Okay, look over here at this little corner and look at the crosshair. Say I have to line up my crosshair with that edge. Boom, done. I don't have to make it extremely long in order to do it by putting in console commands. I can literally just put it there and then throw the smoke. So, like, I, I cannot stress enough. I know I'm repeating myself multiple times, but I cannot stress enough. Stick with your crosshair, no matter what, okay? So, that is the two aspects of crosshair and resolution that you guys need to keep in mind. Uh, sorry for the video being so long. I kept going on rants. But next video is going to be uh, shorter. I, I'm trying to decide on whether what to, uh, what to talk about in the next video. If you guys still have any questions, feel free to ask me. Do not be scared. Ask them in the comment section down below. I will answer them to the best of my ability. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy this new series. I hope you find it uh, educational. I hope you find it helpful. Uh, I'll, I'll see you in the next video. Again, I hope you enjoy. If you did, be sure to leave a like, comment, and share with your friends don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel you guys have a nice day you guys have a lovely day and i'll see you in the next video peace all right so i brought this i just remembered uh i forgot to show you guys how to get onto or how to like subscribe or whatever to the uh map i was talking or that i was on in the video uh ignore that why did i go there workshop Anyways, so I'm going to go to the map real quick, uh, or go to the tab. You won't have to do this. The link will already be there in the description. But anyways, uh, let me go to it real quick. Uh, crashes, crosshair generator. So where is it? Right here. So uh, this is the, there we go. So this is the map I was just on. And uh, what you're going to have to do is after you're, you go to this link, you're going to click this little subscribe button. And then it's going to be in your uh, offline. And what you want to do is you want to click on play game offline with bots. Actually here, I'll just show you real quick. So here we are. Uh, so here we are. And what you want to do is you want to do play uh, offline with bots. And then right here where you say workshop, it'll be right now. Don't pay attention to all these. I'll get into these uh, later within the upcoming series or upcoming parts of the series. But uh, it should be just right here. And if it's not, refresh map list. And you want to look for this one right here. Crashes, crashes Crosshair Generator V2. Uh, so yeah, and then you want to click on it and then you can go go. And you can do uh, off, uh, no bots or harmless bots. I do harmless bots because it's part of my routine of when I warm up. But yeah, that's how you do it. So sorry for getting how to do that. But yeah, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.